Hello, welcome. Let's continue with our tutorial on Ghana Teacher Line Sexual Examination, the NTC Numeracy Exam. So, what is the average, that is the arithmetic mean of all the multiples of 10? From 10 to 190 inclusive, meaning starting from 10, ending at what? 190. Since we are saying multiples of 10, meaning we are having 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, in that order, up to 190. This will just generate a, a sequence for us. So if in case I want to represent this, I can have 10, 20, 30, then the last number I'm expecting to be what? 190. You can see that this will give rise to the first term to be 10, the common difference to be 20 minus 10 will give us what? 10, which is already given to us as multiples of 10, meaning 10 groups of 10. Then we can also see that our last term is known as what? 190. The question says, find the mean, meaning add all the numbers. If you are adding them, you are going to divide by the number of numbers you are adding. We don't know. You can decide to list all of them. That would be a tedious way to do. So we want to find the number of numbers in this range using the sequence. So L equals to A plus N minus 1 D. You can remember this formula, right? Where the L is the last term. N is the number of terms in the sequence. A, the first term. D, the common difference. So 190 will not be equal to 10 plus n minus 1 times what? 10. Let's expand this bracket. 10 times n will be 10n minus 1 times 10 will be 10. I believe you can see that 10 minus 10 will be 0. So you are left with only this equals to 190. I'm sure you can see the trend that we need to find the end. So dividing here by 10, here by 10, will make your end to be equal to what? 19. Meaning there are 19 different numbers you are looking for. Can you be adding 19 different numbers? It will be a tedious work. So now let's see the sum of the numbers. We know sum of sequence is given as n out of 2 a plus one L, where the N stands for number of terms. So fast forward, 19 numbers. We are adding them. The first number is 10. The last number is what? 190. In that bracket, you'll be having 200, right? So 1, 9 over 2 times 200. I believe you know 2 will cancel the 2 to give us 100 and 100 times 19 will be 1900 meaning the sum of all the numbers will be 1900 but you are aware to me that a mean is sigma f uh, sigma x right over n the x is a number of terms that we are adding which in this case 1900 how many numbers are we adding we are adding 19 of them right and that will give us what 100 meaning the mean or the average the arithmetic mean of all the 19 numbers is going to be 100 i believe we can try it add 10 plus 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 50 up to 190 divided by 19 you still get what 100 19 if an object travels at 5 feet per second how many feet does it travel in what an hour so you can see that this is more like a ratio because we are having a feet we have time here as an hour and seconds we also have a fit, which is going to be, it could be our distance. So there are two of these, 
there are two of these. One is giving, one is what we are asked to find. So since we are giving two of the time, we begin with the time. Saying that I am having a second, so I expect the next time to also be in seconds. So in this case, I know that one second, uh, okay, let's take it from here. One hour equals to 3,600 what? Seconds. One hour is 3,000. Don't forget that uh, one minute is 60 seconds. And they are 60 of the minutes in an hour. So that will give us that. So we are going to say that if we can use one second to be able to move or travel five feet, then if we are now increasing the seconds to 3,600 seconds, I believe you know we are going to have more of the feet traveled. So if more, less divide, which is one, we won't change anything. So that will be 3,600 times 5 out of 1. You know this will be 0. So I will have my two zeros. 5 times 6 will be 30. That will be carry 3. 5 times 3, 15 plus our 3 will be 18,000 feet will be what you'll be traveling in an hour. Thank you for watching. Like the video. Subscribe. Follow me on Facebook as Tazonomi Online Mathematics. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Tazonomi Online Mathematics. Bye-bye.